Hi, this is Rudy, and this is six reasons selling a house without a realtor on Long Island is a good idea. Realtors are expensive. Let's face it. Sometimes they'll charge you 6%, other times they'll charge you less, but for the most part, it's 6%. This ends up resulting in 6% of the total purchase price. And well, that's probably why a lot of people want to become real estate agents. Also, you might end up having to pay for closing costs. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it starts to add up after a while. So just to recap, you have real estate fees like commission, you have closing costs, you also have attorney fees. So those, those things start just to add up and some people are just not able to do something like that. Okay, number two, your profits get cut. This expense isn't just money out of your wallet. It's a flat reduction of profit. But you have to remember, the agent is just putting some paperwork together and they're collecting a paycheck. And it can also be a big deal if you're planning to buy another property. So every bit of money counts. And if you could sell your property without having to pay 6% or having to pay anything, I mean, that's, that's even better. All that money goes straight into your pocket. Number three, you don't have control. Plain and simple. When you have it under contract with an agent to list it, they start chipping away at some of the things that you should do to your property, like fix the kitchen, fix up the bathrooms. You lose the control of what you want to do with the property. If you want to sell it as is, or if you don't want to do anything to the property, um, it's going to be difficult. The agents are going to tell you it could be sellable if you were to fix the kitchen a little bit, if you were to fix the bathrooms up a little bit. You also don't have a say on who you sell your house to. You don't know the type of person they're going to sell the house to. You really just, you have no control. So those are just a few things you have to be paying attention to when you list it with an agent. Number four, it can take a long time. Yeah, putting your house on the market doesn't mean that you'll get a buyer right away. It depends, like we were talking earlier, how your house is presented. Is it sellable? Are you able to show the house to everyone at any time of the day? Obviously, there's going to have to be flexibility on the seller's part. But realtors can take a long time in selling the property because they're just juggling a lot of other properties. Your house is not the only one they have listed. So they may be working on a contract for a different property while at the same time negotiating a deal for another home. And it can just take a while before they get to your contract. If you're looking to buy another place or if you're just looking to sell somewhat quickly, you just those are the things you have to consider. So not only are you needing to be aware of how busy an agent can get, but also if the buyer is needing to get a mortgage, there are some circumstances where they're able to back out of the contract. And if that's the case, you've just been under contract for four months or however long, just to find out that they can't close and they're not approved for a loan. That's that could be heartbreaking, especially if you were really needing to sell the property and you possibly maybe even found a property somewhere else, like in another state, and you're under contract with them. So not being able to close is a, is a big deal. And sometimes I run into some homeowners who had their house under contract. They did all of the inspections just to find out that the buyer could not get approved for the mortgage. Number five, you can't switch representation. So once you have a listing agreement with an agent, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to break that listing agreement. So if the real estate agent is super busy and can get to your contract or you just feel like they're not doing what they're supposed to, it'll be very difficult for you to exit that contract unless it's specified in, in writing that you can. So to sum that part up is you're basically bound to that agent. You could be bounded for maybe six months. That's roughly the amount of time the contracts are for, about six months to a year, depending on how much you want to sign. So just be aware of the type of contract you sign with your agent because you won't be able to switch representation. Number six, it all just depends on the realtor's personality. If you have an agent who is a go-getter, who does not drop the ball on anything, then that's great. Um, that's fantastic. But sometimes these agents like to just express how much they, they care about your property 
And really, they, they might have a good heart about it. You know, they may want to help, but you just don't know. If, if they have a bad personality, it's going to affect the way they show your house. So that's just another thing to keep in mind when considering listing a property. So this all being said, for those who are looking to sell in this competitive market, what other options do you have? Real estate investors like us have a solution. We're the alternative option. There are several advantages to working with an investor like us that could be worth your time and attention. We can design an offer that is specifically meant for you and your situation. We can close on your time frame, and sometimes we're able to offer unique, creative offers that other traditional buyers just can't compete with. So please, if you have more questions or if you just want to know how this works, feel free to give us a call. Thanks.